Hello, how are you? It's great to see every single one of your smiling faces. It's officially October, crisp cold mornings are happening. It's starting to get colder out. I've gotta start breaking out the hoodies. Hoodie season, folks, it's here. It's happening. Autumn, fall, what have you is officially here. So you know what that means? The leaves are changing. It's time to get out and get those fall photos. <sighs> Coffee, crisp cold fall morning. Can't beat it. Speaking of changes and things that are happening, there's a huge change that happened over the past couple months that I've been working on a lot. Like, I've been really busy and that's why I really haven't been posting much content because I've been working on this huge change, this huge transition, if you will, of something. And I am so, well, I am so pumped to show you. Like, let's, let's go check it out, see for yourself. So yeah, yeah, things have been happening. Like I said, I've been busy. I've been so busy with renovating the office and I'm still adding things here. And you may be wondering why I didn't film any of the changes or during the entire process from what the office used to look like to what it looks like now. It's mainly because I've been working on it with a friend and it's just been us two and the entire process would have taken so much longer. And he doesn't have all the time in the world and I really needed his help because I mean, come on. I don't know how to put in floors. But anyways, a lot of things have been changed and there are still things that are changing. There are still things that are happening. There's a lot of things I'm still gonna be adding in here. Like, for example, like this this echo, it's, it's terrible. It's so bad. But what I wanna do is I wanna add like three or four of my prints of like some of my favorite photos that I've ever taken and just put them up on the wall by my desk. But today I figured, you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of a home office tour, you know, share what has been changed. Also share what's going to be happening in the future, not only for, you know, me, but also the channel here. Also, if you haven't seen what this room looked like before all this happened, you can click on this thing that's gonna pop up, like, like right, right there, I think, it's gonna, I think right there. Anyways, painted the walls this dark gray color, seeing the color, I was like, yes, this needs to happen. This, this is the color that needs to be painted in the office. I know my house is dark the way it is, so why even bother to paint it even darker, but what can I say? I just loved the color. Also, got this hat slash coat rack here. You know, keeping things organized, out of the way. Come in, put your hats up, coats, whatever. Speaking of organization, also got this little, you know, shoe rack. Put your shoes up there, keeping things nice, less muddy on the floor, less, you know, dirty. Also, speaking of the flooring, got this new floor in. Love this dark green. And then also got this, uh, area rug here, you know, keeping things contrasted, keeping things less monotonous. Plus, I mean, my, my chair just slides across the entire room, so kind of got something to keep it in place. Speaking of keeping things clean, decided to get this little air purifier, trying to keep things a little bit more, you know, dust free, trying to keep dust away from the PC over there. Not really too sure if it's really going to work, but it's worth a shot. Also got this old filing cabinet from a family member of mine. Absolutely love it. Love to keep my documents, whatever else in there. And then, got the gear shelf over here. Up here, we got the miscellaneous shelf. Got a couple knives that I like to collect. Also, you know, lens caps, headphones, some portable charging stuff. Also, I have another portable charger that's on charge right now. On this shelf, I like to keep a couple of cameras. This is the old M50. This was my main cam that I filmed pretty much all my vlogs on all the way up till the time I went down to North Carolina. Also got some lens pens, some ND filters back there. I like to keep a couple of lenses back here. There's a camera that sits here, which is the camera that I'm currently filming on, which is the EOS R. Moving on down to this shelf, got a couple of old film cameras here. These two I got from my uncle. That one over there I got from an old friend of mine. Then, also have this little melter over here. Absolutely love Edison bulbs. I seen the melter, seen the Edison bulb, I was like, yes, gotta get this. I don't know what it is about Edison bulbs, but they just make me feel great. There's, there's just something about them. Then down here, got some accessories. Got the Gorilla Pod, case for the tripod. Also, you know, lens case, 
some cleaning stuff. Got the backpack over there. Got the gimbal down here. And that's pretty much it for the gear shelf. Eventually, I would just love to have like a gear wall, like an entire wall. Just imagine this entire wall just filled with gear. Yeah, definitely have to put that on the list. Making our way over towards the desk here. I made this desk actually. This right here is a butcher block. And then the legs, they're made out of plumbing pipe. I absolutely love this thing. It was super easy, super fun to make. It's heavy, it's sturdy, it gets the job done. Plus, it's, it's just super nice. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't love to do some flat lay stuff on this? And then over here, got this old chest that I had upstairs. What's awesome about this chest is it's great for storage because when you press this button right here, it opens up. I decided to switch up the old fan. I also decided to install some new light switches and and a dimmer because why not? And that's pretty much it for this little office tour. I mean, if you've seen what I had here before, you would see that there's a huge, like a massive difference. And there's still so much more that I'm going to be editing, editing, editing. I'm so pumped for the things that are going to be changing in here and I will definitely keep everybody updated and it's just gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun as we just watch this entire thing just unfold and you know, just transition and things that are just going to be growing and it's, it's gonna be great. I mean, are you pumped? Cause, cause I'm pumped. I mean, I'm really pumped for this. Set you guys right here on this tripod over here. Ho, 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 it's finally here. I've been waiting for this. So pumped. Got some mail. Now I've been waiting for this for like two weeks. And I am so, ho, ho. I am so pumped. That is the word of today, pumped. Cue the choir music. Do you know what this is? There it is. Not sponsored by Aperture whatsoever. But, finally have a studio light. You know, a lot of people don't really get excited about like lighting because it's just, it's just, it's just that thing that like you just you can just have anywhere, but you can also not really have anywhere. But like I'm pumped because this is my first studio light, and I'm so excited I get to share it with you guys. And this is this is great. Let's give you guys a better view. Yeah. This is not an unboxing video, so I am going to figure out how to put this together. Also, this is the light dome too, so it's gonna be fun. This is, this is great. How tasty is this lighting? Some of you, if not most of you who have been following my channel may have been wondering, hmm, Mike, there are no tutorials, reviews, how-tos, even just talking head stuff on your channel. Why not? 
Well, the reason why is because my house is so dark and where all the windows are in my house, they get like no direct sunlight, so the lighting is completely garbage. I mean, yeah, I tried a bunch of the DIY methods, like, you know, using a desk lamp and then you kind of shine it up onto like a poster card and then when you'd shine it up onto a poster card, it would bounce the light back at you and it was either too harsh and the entire room was just really bad or I would use like my phone light still wasn't good enough. I even tried one sec. I even tried using one of these where, you know, um inside of here there is well the, the zipper's broken, but inside of here there's like a diffuser and what I would use is the desk lamp shining up onto me and I would have the diffuser card what have you in front of the desk lamp to diffuse the light and soften it up and it, it still wasn't working. Now I'm not saying that these DIY methods don't work and you should just grab them, throw them in a trash bag and just throw them away forever and just forget about them. Because they definitely do work. I have used them in a pinch. It's just they weren't working for what I was trying to do, but maybe they might work for you. So I just said screw it and I just decided to just save up my money and go buy a good light, which just happened to be the Aperture 120D Mark II. But if you liked hanging out with me on this little office update tour, if you will, I guess you can call it a tour. I mean, I did show you around, but if you liked hanging out with me today, destroy the like button, like just straight up drop an atomic bomb on it, just just do it because it makes a huge difference. Hit up the comment section below because I'd love to hang out with you guys, love to talk, you know, conversing is always fun and just hanging out. And of course, if you have not yet, you should definitely subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace! I had to move the couch back because, well, I moved it out so that way I can, you know, mop the floor and stuff, but peace out.